Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game that we're making! When we last left off, we have created the lair of the final dungeon's mid-boss. Basically, this is like the halfway point of this dungeon, maybe a little bit more. Gotta have a boss in the middle of it, right? Can't just have the final boss be the only boss in the game. So, let's go ahead and set this up. Let's start by having some music here. We'll go with this song. And just off screen is going to be the boss. Any suggestions, anybody in the chat, for the name of this boss? The boss in question is this demon right here. So if you have a name for it, Name away. Now go ahead and use it, possibly. And boss is going to be all stop. And at this point, the boss is going to start coming on screen, so we need to take over to the boss so that he can actually move. So let's go ahead and have the boss move right a couple of spaces and this is where things get a little bit interesting because he's going to be stepping over these tiles which is going to crack them further so there's going to be some back and forth going on here as we take over to which event is the current active event so it took us over here and I decided on a sound effect earlier so let me see here what sound effect 55 We'll go with this. That's the sound of it crumbling, cracking, that sort of thing. And we gotta change the graphic. To its cracked counterpart. And we gotta take over back to the demon so he can continue moving forward. They have him a little bit m move a little bit more quick, uh, carefully. Matty Radata is suggesting mid boss. We could possibly go with that. I'll go ahead and give him his name whenever he gets the rest of the way on camera. Alright, so he moves to the right a little bit, and then we're going to take over to the next tile that he stood on. Which is basically going to have the same stuff going on as the first. Create another page. And the demon, go ahead and take over to that page. Demon's going to move to the right again, except this time he's going to step on one that's already cracked. So take over to the one that's already cracked. sound effect so the breaking sound effect I have decided is that sound effect um we'll have it flash for a few seconds before disappearing
take over back to the next page of the demon. And the demon's going to fall. What was the falling sound? 36. And how far does he fall? Not very far. I can't put him behind the background, so he's only go down one space before disappearing. Don't face, don't step. And then... Disappear. And I'm gonna show off a new option that we haven't really had before. I'm going to take advantage of the volume... And also the reverb. Actually, let me back up. Where, where did we change the song? All oh, right, right here. Let me let, let me change the pace of the battle song that starts up here. No, that's volume. Tempo. So the tempo, as you may notice while I'm fiddling with it here, changes the speed of the song. I'm going to listen to the song that we're going to actually have for this scene. Yeah, that'll do. Now, it should be noted that the song, the background choice that is here in this option, does not actually set what song it is. It just is the song that we're listening to to understand the tempo, basically. This, this is a test song, if you will. The only option that actually matters for the script is the number 16 here. So this is going to start off by playing a faster version of the battle theme. And then back over here... What I'm going to do is kind of have the song tied to the demon. So whenever he falls down below, we're going to have the volume of the song be a little bit lower. Uh, let's see here. Six. And here comes the interesting option. Reverb. It's basically an echo option. There's a few different options for echoes, including no echo if you so want, which is pretty much the default. You got room. Studio A. Studio B. Studio C. And I think the next one is pipe, which is... Um, don't use pipe. So let's go ahead and see which of these songs would be best suited for this. What has the best echo? Definitely not pipe. Either Studio A or Studio B. Or C, rather. Let's go with C. And by the way, the default option right here... It, it doesn't set it to default, it just sets the options to their default stats. So if you actually want to get rid of Echo... Go with none. So now that we got that, actually, I'm going to want to reverse this order because changing the volume of a song actually is not instantaneously, it actually takes a moment to fade. 
So I want the echo to be there when it starts fading rather than when it is finished fading. And we'll go ahead and wait a couple of seconds. And then... This guy is going to be coming back up because after all he can fly. Volume 10 is the default value and it's also the highest so you cannot make a sound louder. And now we'll do that thing I was talking about earlier where we go to the none option for getting rid of the reverb. Now what was the flying sound effect again? Flap 34. Out of curiosity, can I have Event Face up before he appears? I think it only works after he appears. But I'm going to have it there just in case. Go ahead and start bringing him back. sound effect again actually let's not have the weight no no we will have the weight okay so let's go ahead and have the weight sound effect and then he moves up and then how many up again no it just moves up one so he appears he moves up one and then he moves to the right one to get on the platform And then he confronts the player. And as for his name, Maddie's suggestion was... Midballs. I will not you reach my yeah my master Prepare for uh, This is going to take two pages after all in that case do that Prepare for a battle the li likes you may have never seen.
Maddie is asking if I got the joke with the name he suggested. Um, the fact that it's a respelling of mid boss. All right. And with the scene set up, now we're gonna create another map. For you see, like I said before, this is going to be a special fight. This is going to be a custom battle system. So let, let, let's let's first take another look at the default battle system that RPG Maker has. We'll go ahead and load this up real quick and get into a random encounter. And here we go. We got a random encounter. So this right here. The default battle system of RPG Maker 1. And here's the thing about this battle system, it is pretty much unchanging, he needs more HP. So you can't really modify RPG Maker 1's battle system. And creating a custom battle system is certainly tricky. In fact, I initially was not planning on creating a custom battle system because it's um well uh, for such a little game as this with only two dungeons i figured there wouldn't be any reason to but uh, okay so let's see here let me look at my notes so i have the person's name somebody at youtube named epic characters mentioned custom battle systems was kind of interested in the fact that I was not using a custom battle system but was using the default battle system and it's like you know what as long as I'm given this overview with RPG Maker 1 I might as well demonstrate what it's like to actually create a custom battle system so for this mid boss we're going to do exactly that so first I need to set up the battle map It's not going to be a huge map. Okay, let's get the background real quick. And hopefully it does not take too long to set up this map because I want to actually get into creating the boss fight proper. I want to be able to have the entire map on the same screen, potentially. So one more to the right. Here, let's speed this up a little bit, or make it less noisy. It would be sped up if I wasn't having trouble finding this piece. Uh, this piece. There. No, hold on a sec. There. In fact, uh, make it a little bit further. And so then from here, here's the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll go with that. And down here will be the bottom. Now, where is that one tile again? Here it is. Right, right, I can't actually spread it downward, only across. Kind of weird, that. That, that, that. I hit cancel instead of confirm. Don't want to do that. So there's that, and then if the player's standing here, actually, even though that the player won't normally be able to see beyond the top of this screen, there will be some occasional screen shaking going on, which means they might be able to catch a glimpse of above the boundary here, so... I'll create an extra row on each side. And 
and I need to do kind of something special with this map as well. It's not going to be an empty map, there's going to be... It, it, this is going to basically be a free roaming custom battle system. It's not tall enough, darn it. There, now we got a whole screen that we can use. So how do I want to do this? I want to create some holes here and there. So the center of the map is right here. Maybe a hole there and... Like so, perhaps? And I'm also going to kind of do something with the outside here. Just trying to figure out how I want to... Yeah, I guess I can do it like that. Oop, hold on a sec. Also gotta name this. Mid boss, uh, fight in the boss music that we're going to be using is this song right here. All right, let's see if we can kind of sort of get this going within the next six minutes. I highly doubt it. No, I think uh, for the moment all I'm going to be able to do is just get it set up. So, let's see here. So, we're going to have a bunch of these tiles along the edge. And in fact, the player is going to find themselves in a similar situation as Midboss did at the start of this cutscene. In fact, the reason that he fell through this one is to demonstrate before the fight that, hey, you can only step on these once, but once they're cracked like this one, you'll fall through, which would be bad. So the cutscene kind of demonstrated something without explaining it. Uh, I think I could I could do that map a little bit better a little more space perhaps More room to move Yeah, that that's better Now, let's go ahead and have the party warped to the map. So first we're going to change the music to the boss music. We're going to have a sound effect, which will be... That one right there, and we're going to have a wipe. First, let's go ahead and make sure... We'll start the player right about here. Oh, and uh, use the black melt option. Finally, we're taking advantage of this option. 
This is going to kind of wipe the screen like you would expect from an RPG. So let's actually take the moment now to see what this actually looks like. Yeah, I kind of figured that's how it would work. Not reach, let you reach my master. Prepare for a battle the likes you may have never seen. And that is how the battle starts. Now, I will go ahead and... Uh, fix this up. So when he falls, he actually uh, is facing the right direction. In fact, let's go ahead and have him fall facing a different direction so that I don't have to tell him to face a different direction. So when he starts falling, he'll be facing up. Now hopefully the echo that was playing when the song was quiet was, um noticeable enough. Alright, so aside from that little hiccup, we basically got this boss fight ready to go, more or less. The, the battle arena is going to have more going for it than just some of these objects just lying around, but um, I need to go into the next episode break. <sighs> the last episode break of this stream. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish this fight in the next stream, or in, in the next half hour. I, I don't know. We're pretty close to the end of the game, though, so... Odds are, I'll be able to finish this game within my uh, deadline. Probably. Probably. 